Preface. Can a system ever truly be considered reliable if it isn't fundamentally secure? Or can it be considered secure if it's unreliable? Successfully designing, implementing, and maintaining systems requires a commitment to the full system lifecycle. This commitment is possible only when security and reliability are central elements in the architecture of systems. Yet both are often afterthoughts, considered only after an incident occurs, resulting in expensive and sometimes difficult improvements. Security by design is increasingly important in a world where many products are connected to the internet, and where cloud technologies are becoming more prevalent. The more we come to rely on those systems, the more reliable they need to be, the more trust we place in their security, the more secure they need to be. Systems. In this book we talk generally about systems, which is a conceptual way of thinking about the groups of components that cooperate to perform some function. In our context of systems engineering, these components typically include pieces of software running on the processors of various computers. They may also include the hardware itself, as well as the processes by which people design, implement, and maintain the systems. Reasoning about the behavior of systems can be difficult, since they're prone to complex emergent behaviors. Why we wrote this book. We wanted to write a book that focuses on integrating security and reliability directly into the software and system lifecycle, both to highlight technologies and practices that protect systems and keep them reliable, and to illustrate how those practices interact with each other. The aim of this book is to provide insights about system design, implementation, and maintenance from practitioners who specialize in security and reliability. We'd like to explicitly acknowledge that some of the strategies this book recommends require infrastructure support that simply may not exist where you're currently working. Where possible, we recommend approaches that can be tailored to organizations of any size. However, we felt that it was important to start a conversation about how we can all evolve and improve existing security and reliability practices, as all the members of our growing and skilled community of professionals can learn a lot from one another. We hope other organizations will also be eager to share their successes and war stories with the community. As ideas about security and reliability evolve, the industry can benefit from a diverse set of implementation examples. Security and reliability engineering are still rapidly evolving fields. We constantly find conditions and cases that cause us to revise, or in some cases, replace previously firmly held beliefs. Who this book is for. Because security and reliability are everyone's responsibility, we're targeting a broad audience, people who design, implement, and maintain systems. We're challenging the dividing lines between the traditional professional roles of developers, architects, site reliability engineers, SREs, systems administrators, and security engineers. While we'll dive deeply into some subjects that might be more relevant to experienced engineers, we invite you, the reader, to try on different hats as you move through the chapters, imagining yourself in roles you currently don't have and thinking about how you could improve your systems. We argue that everyone should be thinking about the fundamentals of reliability and security from the very beginning of the development process and integrating those principles early in the system lifecycle. This is a crucial concept that shapes this entire book. There are many lively active discussions in the industry about security engineers becoming more like software developers, and SREs and software developers becoming more like security engineers. Point one. We invite you to join in the conversation. When we say, you, in the book, we mean the reader, independent of a particular job or experience level. This book challenges the traditional expectations of engineering roles and aims to empower you to be responsible for security and reliability throughout the whole product lifecycle. You shouldn't worry about using all of the practices described here in your specific circumstances. Instead, we encourage you to return to this book at different stages of your career or throughout the evolution of your organization, considering whether ideas that didn't seem valuable at first might be newly meaningful. A note about culture. Building and adopting the widespread best practices we recommend in this book requires a culture that is supportive of such change. We feel it is essential that you address the culture of your organization in parallel with the technology choices you make to focus on both security and reliability, so that any adjustments you make are persistent and resilient. In our opinion, organizations that don't embrace the importance of both security and reliability need to change, and revamping the culture of an organization in itself often demands an upfront investment. We've woven technical best practices throughout the book and we support them with data, but it's not possible to include data-backed cultural best practices. While this book calls out approaches that we think others can adapt or generalize, every organization has a distinct and unique culture. We discuss how Google has tried to work within its culture, but this may not be directly applicable to your organization. Instead, we encourage you to extract your own practical applications from the high-level recommendations we've included in this book. How to read this book. While this book includes plenty of examples, it's not a cookbook. It presents Google and industry stories, and shares what we've learned over the years. Everyone's infrastructure is different, so you may need to significantly adapt some of the solutions we present, and some solutions may not apply to your organization at all. We try to present high-level principles and practical solutions that you can implement in a way that suits your unique environment. We recommend you start with chapters 1 and 2, and then read the chapters that most interest you. Most chapters begin with a boxed preface or executive summary that outlines the following. The problem statement. When in the software development lifecycle you should apply these principles and practices. The intersections of and or trade-offs between reliability and security to consider. Within each chapter, topics are generally ordered from the most fundamental to the most sophisticated. 
We also call out deep dives and specialized subjects with an alligator icon. This book recommends many tools or techniques considered to be good practice in the industry. Not every idea will be suitable for your particular use case, so you should evaluate the requirements of your project and design solutions adapted to your particular risk landscape. While this book aims to be self-contained, you will find references to Site Reliability Engineering and the Site Reliability Workbook, where experts from Google describe how reliability is fundamental to service design. Reading these books may give you a deeper understanding of certain concepts but is not a prerequisite. We hope you enjoy this book, and that some of the information in these pages can help you improve the reliability and security of your systems. Conventions used in this book. The following typographical conventions are used in this book. Italic. Indicates new terms, URLs, email addresses, file names, and file extensions. Constant width. Used for program listings, as well as within paragraphs to refer to program elements such as variable or function names, databases, data types, environment variables, statements, and keywords. Constant width bold. Shows commands or other text that should be typed literally by the user. Also used for emphasis within program listings. Constant width italic. Shows text that should be replaced with user supplied values or by values determined by context. Note. This element signifies a general note. Deep dive. This icon indicates a deep dive. O'Reilly Online Learning. Note. For more than 40 years, O'Reilly Media has provided technology and business training, knowledge, and insight to help companies succeed. Our unique network of experts and innovators share their knowledge and expertise through books, articles, conferences, and our online learning platform. O'Reilly's online learning platform gives you on-demand access to live training courses, in-depth learning paths, interactive coding environments, and a vast collection of text and video from O'Reilly and 200-plus other publishers. For more information, please visit How to Contact Us. Please address comments and questions concerning this book to the publisher. O'Reilly Media, Inc. 1005 Gravenstein Highway, North. Sebastopol, California, 95472. 800-998-9938 in the United States or Canada. 707-829-0515, international or local. 707-829-0104, fax. We have a web page for this book, where we list errata, examples, and any additional information. You can access this page at Email bookquestions at orally.com to comment or ask technical questions about this book. For more information about our books, courses, conferences, and news, see our website at Find us on Facebook. Follow us on Twitter. Watch us on YouTube. Acknowledgements. This book is the product of the enthusiastic and generous contributions of about 150 people, including authors, tech writers, chapter managers, and reviewers from engineering, legal, and marketing. The contributors span 18 time zones throughout the Americas, Europe, and Asia Pacific, and more than 10 offices. We'd like to take a moment to thank everyone who isn't already listed on a per-chapter basis. As the leaders of Google Security and SRE, Gordon Chaffee, Royal Hansen, Ben Lutch, Sunil Potty, Dave Renson, Benjamin Trainer sloss and Michael Wildpainer were the executive sponsors within Google. Their belief in a project that focuses on integrating security and reliability directly into the software and system lifecycle was essential to making this book happen. This book would never have come to be without the drive and dedication of Anna Opera. She recognized the value a book like this could have, initiated the idea at Google, evangelized it to SRE and security leaders, and organized the vast amount of work necessary to make it happen. We'd like to recognize the people who contributed by providing thoughtful input, discussion, and review. In chapter order, they are. Chapter 1, The Intersection of Security and Reliability, Felipe Cabrera, Perry the Cynic, and Amanda Walker. Chapter 2, Understanding Adversaries, John Asante, Shane Huntley, and Mike Koivunen. Chapter 3, Case Study, Safe Proxies, Amaya Booker, Michal Zapinski, Scott Dyer, and Rainer Wolofka. Chapter 4, Design Tradeoffs, Felipe Cabrera, Douglas Kalish, Peter Duff, Corey Hardman, Anna Opera, and Sergei Simakov. Chapter 5, Design for Least Privilege, Paul Guglielmino and Matthew Sachs. Chapter 6, Design for Understandability, Douglas Kalish, Paul Guglielmino, Corey Hardman, Sergei Simakov, and Peter Valchev. Chapter 7, Design for a Changing Landscape, Adam Backus, Brandon Baker, Amanda Borage, Greg Castle, Peter Lewandowski, Mark Lodato, Dan Loring, Damian Mencher, Anchor Roddy, Daniel Ribolado Samper, Mashi Smith, Sampas Srinivas, Kevin Stadmeyer, and Amanda Walker. Chapter 8, Design for Resilience, Pierre Borden, Perry the Cynic, Jim Higgins, August Huber, Peter Lewandowski, Anna Opera, Adam Stubblefield, Seth Vargo, and Toby Weingartner. Chapter 9, Design for Recovery, Anna Opera and J.C. Van Winkle. Chapter 10, Mitigating Denial of Service Attacks, Zoltan Egid, Peter Lewandowski, and Anna Opera. Chapter 11, Case Study, Designing, Implementing, and Maintaining a Publicly Trusted CA, Heather Adkins, Betsy Bayer, Anna Opera, and Ryan Sleevey. Chapter 12, Writing Code, 
Douglas Kalish, Felix Grobert, Christoph Kern, Max Luba, Sergei Simakov, and Peter Valchev. Chapter 13, Testing Code, Douglas Kalish, Daniel Fabian, Adrian Kunis, Sergei Simakov, and J.C. Van Winkle. Chapter 14, Deploying Code, Brandon Baker, Max Luba, and Federico Scrinzi. Chapter 15, Investigating Systems, Oliver Barrett, Pierre Borden, and Sandra Rychevich. Chapter 16, Disaster Planning, Heather Adkins, John Asante, Tim Craig, and Max Luba. Chapter 17, Crisis Management, Heather Adkins, Johan Berggren, John Lunny, James Nettesheim, Aaron Peterson, and Sarah Smalle. Chapter 18, Recovery and Aftermath, Johan Berggren, Matt Linton, Michael Sinnoh, and Sarah Smollett. Chapter 19, Case Study, Chrome Security Team, Abhishek Arya, Will Harris, Chris Palmer, Carlos Pisano, Adrian Porterfelt, and Justin Shu. Chapter 20, Understanding Roles and Responsibilities, Angus Cameron, Daniel Fabian, Vera Haas, Royal Hansen, Jim Higgins, August Huber, Artur Jank, Michael Yanosko, Mike Koivunen, Max Luba, Anna Opera, Andrew Pollock, Laura Posey, Sarah Smollett, Peter Valchev, and Eduardo Villanova. Chapter 21, Building a Culture of Security and Reliability, David Chaloner, Artur Jank, Christoph Kern, Mike Koivunen, Kostya Cerebriani, and Dave Weinstein. We'd also like to especially thank Andre Sillen for his guidance throughout the book. The following reviewers provided valuable insight and feedback to guide us along the way. Heather Adkins, Kristen Burden, Shadi Denai Armstrong, Michelle Duffy, Jim Higgins, Rob Mann, Robert Morlino, Lee Ann Mulholland, Dave O'Connor, Charles Proctor, Olivia Puerta, John Reese, Pankaj Rohadji, Brittany Stagnaro, Adam Stubblefield, Todd Underwood, and Mia Vu. A special thanks to J.C. Van Winkle for performing a book-level consistency review. We are also grateful to the following contributors, who supplied significant expertise or resources, or had some otherwise excellent effect on this work. Ava Katushka, Kent Kawahara, Kevin Mould, Jennifer Petoff, Tom Supple, Salim Virji, and Mary Yen. External directional review from Eric Gross helped us strike a good balance between novelty and practical advice. We very much appreciate his guidance, along with the thoughtful feedback we received from industry reviewers for the whole book, Blake Bissett, David N. Blank Edelman, Jennifer Davis, and Kelly Shortridge. The in-depth reviews of the following people made each chapter better targeted to an external audience, Kurt Anderson, Andrea Barbirio, Akhil Beal, Alex Blewett, Chris Blow, Josh Branham, Angelo Fila, Tony Godfrey, Marco Guerri, Andrew Hoffman, Steve Huff, Jennifer Janesco, Andrew Callett, Thomas A. Limoncelli, Alan Lishka, John Looney, Niall Richard Murphy, Wukash Sujit, Jennifer Stevens, Mark Van Holstein, and Weetzee Venema. We would like to extend a special thanks to Shailesha Nukala and Paul Blankenship, who generously committed the time and skills of the SRE and security technical writing teams. Finally, we'd like to thank the following contributors who worked on content that doesn't appear directly in this book, Heather Adkins, Amaya Booker, Pierre Borden, Alex Bramley, Angus Cameron, David Chaloner, Douglas Collish, Scott Dyer, Faniel Grebe, Felix Grobert, Royal Hansen, Jim Higgins, August Huber, Chris Hunt, Artur Jank, Michael Yanosko, Hunter King, Mike Koivunen, Suzanne Landers, Roxana Loza, Max Luba, Thomas Maufer, Shailesha Nukala, Anna Opera, Massimiliano Paletto, Andrew Pollock. Laura Posey, Sandra Rychevich, Fatima Rivera, Stephen Rodis, Julie Saracino, David Seidman, Fermin Serna, Sergei Simakov, Sarah Smollett, Johan Strumpfer, Peter Valchev, Cyrus Vasuna, Janet Vong, Jakub Wormuz, Andy Warner, and J.C. Van Winkle. Thanks also to the O'Reilly Media team, Virginia Wilson, Kristen Brown, John Devins, Colleen Lobner, and Nikki McDonald, for their help and support in making this book a reality. Thanks to Rachel Head for a fantastic copy editing experience. Finally, the book's core team would also like to personally thank the following people. From Heather Adkins. I'm often asked how Google stays secure, and the shortest answer I can give is that the diverse qualities of its people are the linchpin in Google's ability to defend itself. This book is reflective of that diversity, and I am sure that in my lifetime I shall discover no greater set of defenders of the internet than Googlers working together as a team. I personally owe an especially enormous debt of gratitude to Will, my wonderful husband, plus four two, to my mom, Libby, dad, Mike, and brother, Patrick, and to Apollo and Orion for inserting all those typos. Thank you to my team and colleagues at Google for tolerating my absences during the writing of this book and for your fortitude in the face of immense adversaries, to Eric Gross, Bill Coffrin, Urs Holtzla, Royal Hansen, Vitaly Gudanitz, and Sergey Brin for their guidance, feedback, and the occasional raised eyebrow over the past 17 plus years, and to my dear friends and colleagues Mary, Max, Sam, Lee, Siobhan, Penny, Mark, Jess, Ben, Renee, Jack, Rich, James, Alex, Liam, Jane, Tomislav, and Natalie. Especially ROOT++, for your encouragement. Thank you. Dr. John Bernhardt, for teaching me so much, sorry I didn't finish the degree. From Betsy Bayer, to Grandmother, Elliot, Aunt E, and Joan, who inspire me every single day. Y'all are my heroes. Also, to Duzzy, Hammer, Kiki, Minnie, and Salim, whose positivity and sanity checks have kept me sane. From Paul Blankenship, first, I want to thank Aaron and Miller, whose support I rely on, and Matt and Noah, who never stop making me laugh.
I want to express my gratitude to my friends and colleagues at Google, especially my fellow technical writers, who wrestle with concepts and language, and who need to simultaneously be both experts and advocates for naive users. Immense appreciation goes to the other authors of this book, I admire and respect each of you, and it is a privilege to have my name associated with yours. From Suzanne Landers. To all the contributors to this book, I can't say how honored I feel to have been part of this journey. I wouldn't be where I am today without a few special folks, Tom for finding the right opportunity, Cyril for teaching me everything I know today, Hannes, Michael, and Peter for inviting me to join the most amazing team ever, Semper Tutti. To you all who take me for coffee, you know who you are, life would be incredibly boring without you. To Verbena, who probably shaped me more than any other human being ever could, and most importantly, to the love of my life for your unconditional support and our most amazing and wonderful children. I don't know how I deserve you all, but I'll do my very best. From Peter Lewandowski. To everyone who leaves the world a better place than how they found it. To my family for their unconditional love. To my partner for sharing her life with me, for better or worse. To my friends for the joy they bring into my life. To my co-workers for being easily the best part of my job. To my mentors for their ongoing trust, I wouldn't be part of this book without their support. From Anna Opera. To the little one who will be born just as the book is going to print. Thank you to my husband, Fabian, who supported me and made it possible to work on this and many more things, while building a family.